first be to take the land value. Okay. So we'll take the land value and the improvements. Okay. Like you'll take a, a, a greenhouse like, like this structure here. Okay. You're looking at about, I think it's about $5 a square foot to put that in into place. So there's some value there. The 2014 Agricultural Report says that BC farmland values increased an average of 4.2% last year. Which indicates that sales are still strong in this specialty market. We're looking at what our future is in this property yep. and as I'm getting yep. older, yep. how am I going to handle this farm? Like, mm -hmm. we can sell it as an operation. You want this bed clean, don't you? Or we can sell it down right. and reduce size. Reduce size. Did you look all over the uh, Fraser Valley for an area like this? We did. We actually even we took uh, aerial rides so that we could find the right type of a spot. Oh, so from up above? Yeah. We haven't had one person come to our yard that hasn't fallen in love with it the same way as we I mean, did. how can you not fall in love with this? You've got a million dollar view here. In the last uh, few years, there's been a lot of uh, older folks that have been retiring and yeah. leaving like um, the 10 acres next door, I've sold that. Gord says one of the most common questions for people when purchasing a farm is water availability. Now water affects a farmer's bottom line. For example, this crop here should be twice as high at this time of year. I'm Dean Atwell. And I'm Leah Bolton with Joy TV News.